What's up guys, Black Cool Zero and welcome back to another video and today we're back on Pro Cycling Manager 2020 for stage number 2 of our Tirreno Adriatico playthrough with Trek Segafredo. If you've missed the previous episode then please do go ahead and check it, it was out on the channel yesterday at 2pm. Uh, but today's episode is yet another sprint stage, 191 kilometers between Camayore and Folonica. We still don't have a true sprinter, uh, we do have Alex Kersh who will be... Uh, fighting today for uh, for the win. He finished third yesterday. I'm gonna try and have him finish higher than third, but I genuinely cannot guarantee anything uh, because for us, the main part of the Tirreno will start tomorrow uh, for stage three. But for now, as I said, it's a sprint stage between Camayore and Folonica. Let's do our best and let's show uh, the track colors on TV. And we're on the way. And compared to yesterday, it is very, very bad day overall. For, uh, for our boys, Julien Bernard is leading already the peloton. Uh, he is also leading the mountain classification right now. Uh, he took two out of three climbs in first position yesterday. Already some attacks. Samuel Battistella and Matas Jorgensen from uh, NTT and Movistar respectively, the champion of Croatia. Josip Rumac trying to follow for Androne. You've got Alfredo Torres who was in the breakaway as well yesterday. I mean, who attempted to go in the breakaway. You've got the white jersey, Simon Sinok. Already in the first positions for CCC, uh, but yeah, as I said, today shouldn't be too much of a... I mean, we shouldn't really do anything uh, technically today. We're most likely going to stay in the peloton. Uh, I won't go in the break with Julien Bernard, because I don't really feel like I need to. That's, yeah, that's the main reason why. Um, but we're going to let some riders go in the breakaway. I'll see if there's a breakaway for the climb of Sasseta. If there isn't, then Julien will uh, have his opportunity to increase his lead in the mountain standings. But for now, uh, status quo in the peloton as some riders are still trying to uh, go. We still have Batistella and Jorgensen, followed still by Torres and Josip Rumach. Okay, we're approaching the uh, intermediate sprint of Sasseta. Uh, no, sorry, of Castagneto Carducci, but we've started the climb of Sasseta. Uh, and the road is extremely narrow, I hadn't expected that at all, uh, but we've got Dries de Bont pacing at the front of the peloton. Benjamin Thomas took, main, uh, took the points ahead of Carlos Barbero for uh, the sprint. It's going to be Mathieu van der Poel getting third, uh, and we'll see if we can do anything in the peloton. Hopefully we can already catch these four guys. Uh, I'm, I'm really hoping that they'll, they'll stop. Please. Can you go back in, in like the peloton, lads? Come on. Thank you. Uh, but yeah, Julien Bernard will try to go for third place and grab two more points in the mountain classification. Benjamin Thomas attacking, but he's going to get countered by Carlos Barbero. And the Spaniard will take five points at Sasseta. Benjamin Thomas will take three. Julien Bernard will take a whopping two points, putting him on a 14. Nice. Very good job. Uh, I guess it's just now going to be a very long road. Uh, until we reach the uh, the final town of uh, Folonica. We'll just have that little climb, the climb of Scarlino, uh, about 15k from the line. I don't expect it to do any difference, but you never know. And we're going to catch the breakaway as we start the climb of Scarlino. Uh, I wanted to try something to make an attack, but Anthony Nibali decided to be a dickhead and be a, like so far loud, like so far down. I couldn't do anything. Uh, so that's that's an L. That's a very big L. Kundekort will uh, lead Alex Kersh for uh, the finale. The finale, sorry. Uh, I mean, at this point, I might drop Vincenzo here. Yeah. Yeah, I guess that can work. Uh, maybe Kundekort behind Nibali. And then Kundekort behind Brambia. So that Vincenzo can be in final place of the train. Thank you. Left-hander coming up. We're going to pace 99 with Julien Bernard. The thing is, because there's like literally nothing to fight for, my entire team has like energy. We have dropped an entire group. I had not seen that coming. I had not seen that coming at all, actually. Okay. Nice. Nice, 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 nice. There goes Peter Venning. As Antonio Nibali steps out. On the side of the road, there, there could be gaps at this point, you know. Like, there could genuinely be gaps. Okay. Peter Venning pacing, giving it all he has. Gianluca Brambia is next in line. 
There goes the Italian rider. Stage winner on the Giro d'Italia, I believe. Yannou Cabrambia starting his effort. I'm gonna get so much, like, I'm gonna get destroyed. Yeah, there, yeah, there. I expected it. The Molano and the Gavirias are just too good. Alex Kirsch just doesn't have any legs to catch them. And it's a double win. Or a double win. It's another win for Mathieu Van Der Poel. Ackerman in second. Gaviria. Magnus Court Nielsen. Alex Kirsch. Vincenzo Nibali fighting with Chris Froome for seventh. Jakob Fulsang. Garin Zomers and Jack Egg. Yeah, the top five is decent. The top, well, the bottom five uh, from six to ten is definitely not something you'd expect from a sprint stage on the Tirano. But the question is, do we have gaps with this group? We most likely should have. Uh, however, I don't feel we've dropped anyone big uh, because the only GC contenders finished 13th, 6th, 7th, 8th and 9th. But it's another win for Mathieu Van Der Poel. Uh, back to back dubs for the leader of Alpes in Phoenix. Pascal Ackermann joins him on the podium, on the second row of the podium in second position. Gaviria in third place. Magnus Kurt Nielsen with a nice uh, fourth position, followed by Alex Kirsch and Vincenzo Nibeli, then Chris Froome, Jakob Fulsong, Garen Thomas, Jack Haig, Patrick Conrad, Alexander Vlasov, Rafa Maika, and Simon Yates, and Michael Woods. From 6th to, to 15th, that could be like a top 10 of a mountain stage on a Grand Tour. And I'm not making this up. This is mad. Uh, did we have gaps? We did. 140 for um, everyone below, below 66 place. The likes of Sam Oman, Lucas Hamilton, uh, Kylian Franchini. But I don't think GC wise there's any, uh, any any big names. Mark Padden, I guess, for Bahrain. Uh, but no. That's, that's yeah. Not much. Last place for uh, Sepulveda. James Knox got dropped as well. The uh, young rider of the Canuck. Okay. Well, GC-wise, Mathieu Van Apple is going to increase his lead over Pascal Ackerman and Fernando Gaviria. Uh, Alex Cash drops to 5th. Vincenzo Nibali jumps to 8th place now. He's in between uh, 2 Dane in Mathieu Van, Ap Mathieu Van Apple, no, in Magnus Cordneson and Jakob Fulsang. Points-wise, Mathieu Van Apple has an easy lead as well over Gaviria. 7 points now. Julien Bernard is still uh, leading the mountain classification. 6 points ahead of Georg Zimmermann. Uh, Benjamin Rada is still Mathieu Van Der Poel. I can't believe that this man is only 25. I mean, he is 25, so it should be good. Uh, and the best team is not us anymore. It's now Movistar. But that is going to be it for this stage. Tomorrow, though, is where things are going to get a bit more intense between Folonica and Saturnia. Today was a rest day for most of my team. Tomorrow, it's another pair of, uh, another pair of hands. But I hope I'll see you there to make sure to do so. Then please do consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't done so already. Uh, if you've liked the video, then why not leave a like on it? Uh, if you didn't, then do leave a dislike. Uh, interact with me in the comments. I shall answer to absolutely everyone, as I always do. Leave a like, as I said. Uh, follow me on my social medias. The links are in the description down below. But my name has been Blacko. It has been an absolute pleasure talking to you guys. Have a great day, and goodbye. Pull up, pull up in the gold, I'm bleeding. What the mother man need feeding? I don't want to go bombi. Them, I don't know what I do when I go from bleeding. Leading the pack in black and I'm on with the bass. Snapping with a phone and dab. I'll stop him out with the duster. Put him in the drip and sip, blockbuster.